Welcome back to our Cryptoverse. I just want to do a quick market note on the market action on equity markets and crypto markets. Good thing is we're seeing the real deal, the real kahuna. This is a short covering rally. And I see that happening for a few reasons, but let's look at something that we haven't looked at yet, moving averages. We just broke out of the 50-day moving average on the S&P 500. So I think we can go up another 10% until we either hit one, the 200 day moving average, or two, we hit over, overhead resistance on the S&P chart. So this looks like the real deal. I mean, 10% plus what we had already is a pretty good short covering rally. And then as you know, I expect the tightness in liquidity to make markets go into an, a yet another free fall in the latter weeks of July or maybe August and September. But so why is the market look so good? Well, if you look at our previous videos, we, we pointed out many factors that could push up this rally. Number one, bearish sentiment. Everyone's been so bearish and, and asset managers have been bearish, not just in what they're saying, but what they're doing, right? They have the highest number of amount of cash that they've had since 2008, the lowest equity positions since 2008, and even individual investors are bearish. So all types of investors are bearish. And I'm even, I'm even so bearish. I'm so bearish that I'm bullish. Also, we have what I like to call correlation of assets. That means other assets look like they were ready to bounce, whether it's commodities, uh, the dollar, uh, crypto. They all look like and have been bouncing. And w when I say that, I mean assets that are correlated with higher stock prices. For example, the US dollar. When the US dollar goes up and it's been going up like crazy when it goes up like it's been at a 20 year high now when it does that that means there's tightness in liquidity and markets equity markets and crypto have a difficult time rising when dollars also increasing but recently the dollar has shown some weakness not much but it's shown just a little weakness just enough weakness to make equities rise and the same thing with other behaviors of other markets they've shown correlations that have aligned with risk on in, in all types of assets. Speaking of, of all the assets, I want to talk to you about the C word. No, not cunt. This is confluence. Confluence is when you get buy or sell indication indications on indicators from different asset types, or those indicators are calculated in a different manner. So they're totally different, right? I'll give you some examples, but we have a video on this. The one, first example is what I mentioned earlier, sentiment. Another one, and, and that's in terms of sentiment of our equity markets. There's also sentiment in terms of the University of Michigan survey, consumer survey. And then you, we've got what I mentioned earlier, moving averages. And there's also uh, the crypto fear index, and that's a different asset, right? So there's all types of uh, correlations that you, you could get. And when they're all correlated, when all these indicators are correlated together, that's called confluence. So just to close this, I think uh, we could have uh, two steps forward and one step back. So today is Wednesday, July 20th. So perhaps tomorrow we go down, but I think we could keep going up and this short covering rally can continue until it reaches resistance or some kind of exhaustion. Uh, thank you all for listening and please hit the like button.